Ravens from Pro Football Network, NFL offensive rankings entering week 10. Uh, Ravens are one, Commanders are two, the Buccaneers are three. Remember, they don't have Godwin or Mike Evans for, for a long stretch of time. Um, more interesting, Giants are 30th, the Patriots are 31st, and the Browns are dead last. Grade F. It's a shame the American grading system can't go lower than <laughs> F. The Browns are in a tier unto themselves when it comes to their grade in this season. Uh, Watson is fun to watch. He's far from stabilizing force that the offense currently ranks dead last in yards per play, EPA, and points per drive. Um, anybody who has watched the Browns can't argue with that ranking. I'm shocked that the Toronto Argonauts were not ranked ahead of them <laughs> in this list. Um, yeah, it's it's maddening. It's, yeah. it's, it's as bad as it sounds. 32 of 32. And there are teams starting rookie quarterbacks with first-year coordinators sitting in front of you. That is... That is, that is pretty damning stuff. Uh, I'm choosing to parse this apart. I'm going to consider what Watson did as one season, and I'm now I'm evaluating the second season. And I expect that number to climb, not too high, but I think over the course of the last eight games, I think you start to see them move up and, and be around that 20 points per game and be more explosive and more big plays. But it, you can't ignore the fact that this has just been inept. We talked about it earlier. Your punter has more yards than your entire offense. It's it's maddening. It's and I get the fans' frustrations, and it's as an analyst, it's hard to watch them. It's hard to watch this offense play and then have to write a stock up, stock down report on Monday. You know, it's all of them stock down. You know, like it, it's hard. It's hard to be positive, but when you really pull it apart, which is what we're doing now during the buy, it's time for self scout and look. And there are little bright spots sprinkled out through here, but just the overall play has been so bad, it's hard to feel great about it. Yeah, and, and you know, you mentioned your stock up, stock down. You did uh, Corey Bohorkas, obviously stock up. He has uh, more yards than the offense. Cedric Tillman has played well, stock down, third down pass defense, and Jameis Winston. Yeah, I mean, you win first and second down, and you blow coverage in two mm -hmm. instances that led to two touchdowns when the game was still very much uh, within reach. Yeah, and you have momentum in those. And like you're looking at like a third and 21 after a huge Miles Garrett sack, you know, and you're really about to seize momentum and get them off the field and then just wide open as you can be, Josh Palmer all by himself. And when you go back and look at the tape, it's like, okay, I wish I could just once again blame one person. Multiple people you can blame. On the first play, I'm blaming Juan Thornhill. And then the second blown coverage with Quentin Johnston. That's on Denzel. Like it's – that's frustrating because we're talking about week nine. We're talking about veteran players. These aren't rookies. We're talking about the second year of a defensive system, and you're still having communication errors. And at the most crucial of times, third down, that's money down. That's when guys get paid in this league is to be money on that down. And, and this defense played great on first and second down. Then you get to third down, and Justin Herbert was 5 of 8 for 151 yards and two touchdowns on third downs in the first half of that game. And that's all they needed. That, that's the difference in the football game. You know, so it's, it's – we, I expect more of this defense. Like I, we're sitting here talking about offense and how down we are on everything, and they are they've been putrid. I I had a very high expectations for this defense, and they play good in spurts, but they do not consistently carry that throughout a game. If they did, you'd be in way more games. You know, like even that Chargers game, you could you couldn't score points, but if you just do your job on third down, they don't score either. You know, and you're in that kind of a dogfight. But when you give up stuff like that on third down, it's just free money to a player like Justin Herbert. He's going to take that every single time.